Action. Hello, I am Huxley Dunsany with the Retro Roadshow, the San Francisco East Bay's premier hands-on pop-up museum of vintage technology. Today we are with the Alameda Scout Troops. We are putting on an exhibition detailing the evolution of video game technology and art and design, and we're using Nintendo's Mario character as a guide. And our exhibition begins with a short presentation, and then we're gonna open the show floor for folks to get hands-on with decades of classic video games. Starting in 1977 with the classic Atari 2600 playing Donkey Kong. From there, we come down the line to the amazing Mattel in television, which is also playing Donkey Kong, but of course, a different version of Donkey Kong. Coming down the line, we have the Atari 7800 Pro System, which was a little known, little remembered, but awesome console with a lot of great games. Next door to the Atari 7800, we have the mighty ColecoVision, which is playing its own version of Donkey Kong. Maybe the most arcade accurate version of Donkey Kong that you can play at home in that time frame. Coming down the line again, we move into the era of Nintendo consoles. We've got the Nintendo Entertainment System, or NES, playing Super Mario Brothers, of course. Next door, we have another NES, but this one has been rebuilt in a clear case so that attendees can actually see what the interior looks like, learning about the design of the system. Coming down a little further, we've got the Super Nintendo playing Super Mario Kart as we make the leap into the 16-bit generation. Next to the Super Nintendo, we have the Super Nintendo Junior, the same console, but smaller and cooler. And then as we come down to the final leg of our journey, we have the Nintendo 64 playing Super Mario 64. And then last but not least, the Nintendo GameCube, the iconic purple box of fun playing Mario Kart Double Dash. So that is our Retro Roadshow experience for today with the Scouts. And let's go ahead and begin with our presentation.